In this video, Molly Campbell will lead us through the steps of constructing a Perkins play space. The PPS was designed to be easily and inexpensively constructed. All of the materials can be found at your local arts and crafts store or through the resources link found on the PPS homepage. It would be best to follow along with a printed version of the construction PDF fact sheet also located on the PPS homepage. Uh, I'm Molly Campbell and I'm an occupational therapist and I work at Perkins School for the Blind where I'm the coordinator of the Assistive Device Center. In the first step, Molly Campbell will show us the different materials needed for the PPS construction. So you need 16 lengths of uh, artist stretcher frame. Then you'll need four hinges, two safety clasps, a handle, two small hooks about two inches or one and a half inches long, and one large hook. Um, that is about two and a half inches long, a bunch of small screws, and then for the um, top, you may choose to have a clear material. This is a Lexan material. Now that the materials are together, we need to know what tools are needed. The PPS is designed so that anybody can make one. We only need very basic, everyday tools to put it together. We will need a hammer, a screwdriver, glue, a drill, and sandpaper. After we have all the materials and tools, the first thing we must do is to attach all the frames. Just attach the frames by applying glue to each corner and securing them. A hammer is useful for firmly fixing the pieces together. After all the frames are constructed, we will begin to put the walls together. 